Yeah, see, this is so cool. You just start to pull in the focus. Today, we're going to look at how we can use a $20 USB microscope to look at finished and unfinished fibers. We're going small to look closely. We're just doing a quick tour of highlights, and I'm going to be planning some deep dives. So if there's any one of these subjects that piques your interest, leave, leave your suggestion in the comment section. Here we've been looking at some wool and alpaca mix. I spun some white wool to contrast with this brown alpaca. And look at that. You can see such cool stuff from this angle. You can see all those little flecks of garbage and stuff in there. You can see all of how the different sizes of the fibers. Uh, the, brown is, the brown alpaca is just a little bit larger in diameter as far as the fiber goes than this wool. You can see the individual, like, each section of the wool fibers, as opposed to this long, glassy, almost like fiberglass sections of the alpaca. I mean, it's so cool. I just love looking at stuff on this angle. And just so that you guys can see, this is what we're, we were looking at. So, it's just a little sample of poorly spun alpaca and wool mix. So let's now have a, a look at this wool sock. Oh, here, we'll have a look at it. This is the big version. It's a nice wool sock. And here we'll go under the microscope. Pull focus. So there we get a really nice angle of one of where the knits come together, or one of the knit stitches come together. Isn't it so cool to see those loops up close and all of the almost like shag carpet style of how those fibers just come up and become so soft? It just looks soft, right? It's just, and also they, the fibers in the light also have almost like this uh, fluorescent almost kind of value that y you can, y you know, under the regular light they have, uh, it just takes on a different characteristic for each of the fibers. And yeah, the, the, it, they carry the light differently. So just looking at it this close, it's just so much fun. And you, and, and you know, by looking at these more and more, you get an idea of you know what you're spinning or what you're wearing or you know why why a certain textile has a you know certain characteristic so next we'll take a look at this scarf it's got a real nice tight weave it's very precise And it's a lot of fun to look at as well. So this is also a very soft textile, but see the difference between uh, the small um, strands as opposed to like those big strands that filled the frame as opposed to the knit sock and yeah just look i like to see how much more or less shiny the partic each one of the particular fibers are uh how kinky and how how uh 
uh, how much twist each one of the uh, fibers displays. You just get a, you begin to look at a lot of different of these characteristics. And it's very fun to see. Now we'll take a look at a scarf. Uh, it's a plain knit, just hand spun knit scarf. And just look at how, I mean, it's really, you really can't even see knitting at all. It's just a big cloud. It doesn't even look like there's knitting. It just looks almost like unspun fiber. That's so cool. It's really hard to pull focus because it's so deep. But yeah, that's really fun. So there's some some wool. Now we'll take a look at some different animal fiber. This is that brown alpaca by itself. So I have it in a little container here, and this is this is what it looks like. And this, I think, I'm not sure, but this, I think this might be some output of a picking process because all of the fibers are very even stapled and it almost has a feel like drier lint. So, Yeah, you can see that characteristic, almost like glass noodles or fiberglass of, of the alpaca fibers. And they're also quite a lot of different diameters and fibers. So there's a lot of variation. It's, it's just very cool stuff. And a challenge to spin. I've been trying to spin with it lately. Or just different. Maybe I should say not a challenge. Challenge for me. Maybe not to someone else. White alpaca, but this is in this has some guard hairs as you can see. You can even see in potato vision here. Oh, there we go. Got one of the guard hairs, right? They're so big. They're almost like Lincoln logs in the middle of that mass of little tumbleweeds. Right there. We have our picture of a guard hair. You can see one big massive hair and then a lot of little tiny strands that's a guard hair of this white alpaca fleece and so that can show you a little bit of the variation that you can get i mean just look it's probably five or six times the diameter of those other you know fibers there i mean it's it's so much fun to take a look at these, you know, up close because you can look at it as put it in front of your face and, you know, maybe even use a 5x magnifier, you know, a small little guy to look. But just getting this kind of view is so neat. So, next we're going to look at a little bit of flax. So I just spun up a little bit of samples here and that's, this is the flax that we're going to be looking at. And this is just a little bit of hand spun flax.
But isn't that cool? I mean, it just looks like a bunch of reeds or a bunch of, you know, tumbleweeds kind of packed together, almost almost like a basket material or something. And you can kind of see the individual, like, cones and sections as of each one of the, you know, fibers, as well as kind of the, you know, kind of fiberglass quality of it. It's just so cool. I love looking at all kinds of different things. And, you know, this is one of the things when I first got this microscope, we were just, we were putting every, I mean, we were looking at the rabbit hair and the dog hair and my, you know, the hair off my head everything it's been just great fun and analyzing your fabrics and the other things that you wear is also great fun and so this is a, a linen sheet I'll try to get some of this embroidery work here and some of this lace work these are linen sheets I think these are from the early 20th century these were given to me by my grandmother I believe they're from Holland and these are such fine linen. Let me show you. I mean, that's just so precise, right? It's a plane weave, I mean, obviously, but <sighs> look at how precise each one of the the spacing is and i mean that is just so tiny this is probably a um couple hundred threads per inch sheet but it just feels so soft i i guys i wish i could you know make textile version of youtube so everyone can feel these things because they're so fun and it's just so amazing to see these views like this. And then when you get into, I'll see if I can pull this focus, the, the lace. Like some of the embroidery. Like you just see some, like some of the precision in which these things were woven knit and constructed it's just so amazing how small they are and what they look like on that on that scale so next we'll take a look at some cotton oh the cotton is right here so it's the very end it's just this very little small sample of some hand spun that i did earlier Isn't that a story too? That's so cool. Yeah. So you can kind of see the almost the ribbon like qualities of the cotton fibers themselves and how they they're almost like a ribbon like strand that's twisted in the helical shape. And you can kind of see that vaguely twisty and ribbon like structure here and some of the very small fibers of the cotton. And I can barely describe this as being cotton. I would really more describe this as mill waste. And I'll get a picture of it for you on the potato vision. But this stuff is also very low it's got a staple length of maybe a centimeter if that and it's just full of all of this junk like 
it's not well it's kind of hard to see but the, there are these small little flecks of dry leaves and stalks and stems and whatever so I think they swept this off the bottom of the gin and put it in the box and said hey we'll make some extra scratch from this but let's take a look at it but yeah see how fluffy that is oh. so next we're going to take a look at some synthetic fibers and synthetic fibers are always so also kind of fun to look at in that everything is always so ordered So look at that. I mean, isn't that just a precise plane weave with a bunch of garbage in it? This is this is my backpack. But look at how small and precisely woven and spun this synthetic polyester textile is that's just so cool I love it anyway this is what that backpack looks like this is kind of the up close on the that backpack textile it's so it's just a plain weave that's black but see even the most interesting things you can see from you know even just such a lackluster thing as a synthetic backpack so What'd you guys think? Would you like to see any more of one thing? I would love to do some more of these. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on treadling.